Hey guys, welcome to the session on InfoSec Train and today we are going to discuss about the different type of control category. Trust me, this topic is very very important when you are preparing for Comsha Security Plus and along with that CISSP, CSA and CSM. And in this video, Prab is here, no need to fear, going to discuss about the different security control categories. See, controls are basically introduced to reduce the risk. So we have a three control category. Okay. The first is basically called as a physical control. Physical control is something you install physically in the organization. So let's take example, this is a lock. So we are using this lock to lock the door. So this is something physically which is used to block physically. That is called physical control. Second is called as security guards, which basically detect physically who coming inside the building and block physically outsiders and all that. That is basically called as a uh, physical control then camera suppose camera is basically tracking your physical activity so that is basically called as a physical control the second type of control is called as an administrative control okay hey mukul when you receive a manager mail you have to come morning eight o'clock how's your experience see he's literally crying because he come by nine o'clock he doesn't want to come eight o'clock so now what happened is mukul receive an email hey guys tomorrow you have to be here by eight o'clock so it's a instructions has given to the employees. It's a law we have created within the company, directives, rules set for the company. This is called as an administrative control. So administrative control, like a policy, procedures, we have introduced in the organization to control the behaviors and all that. Like we're doing a background check of the employee. It's part of an administrative activity to just to make sure no unauthorized person join the facility. So these are the examples of administrative controls. It is all about maintaining the day-to-day -day activities of the organization. And the third type of control, third category of a control is basically called as a technical control, something you implement technically. So let's take example, we have a firewall. So you created a rules in the firewall and based on the rule, firewall will basically block the packet. So I'm not a human here who blocking the packet. There's a firewall which blocking the packet. I want to access my laptop, right? So I enter the password. They have a function in OS which investigate the password and give me the access. So that is another example of the technical control. So three category of controls are physical, something you implement physically. Second is basically called as administrative, which is all about day-to-day -day operations, rules and regulations. And third is basically called as a technical control, something you implement technically, which is used to block technical things and all that. This is all from my side on the control category. Do watch the next video where I'm going to cover about seven type of control. So we have a three category and seven type of functions. Exactly. So for more information, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss the future videos on a similar topic. Good day. Bye.